Hey guys, it has Pigman here. I want to get this intro segment done really quickly, so let's just go on this and start. So, I'll show you. Actually, let me quickly show you this. So, uh, I have one Goku code. I got one Goku, and I got the Sesame. I'll go more in depth in just a second. Just wait. It starts in ten minutes, so I want to get that done. But pretty much, they added when Goku waited into this update. They added all my. I'll show them all from the character testing. But this update. I don't have to show the character. It might look like from first glance I want Pei to win, but I want to do a jump cut to the raid battle. I'll show off all the drops I got. And I got the code, but I didn't take a screenshot of that. <laughs> I got one Goku, so here's his first skill Unknowing Fire, Seconds Rising Sun, I think it said, or Rising Wash, uh, Flame Tiger, Leaps Fire Down, and then BAM. So I took screenshots because nobody's gonna believe, hey, I got both these. People legit in public servers will be like, boy, you're really pay to win. But I'm not spending like 20 bucks for one Goku and then like an extra 15, I think, for the Tiger. I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's like 35 bucks. But yeah, instead of having to just do a showcase inside of like the testing thing like most people are doing, I actually have him. Which is great, because I wanted him, but I thought it would take me weeks. But I got him yesterday at 11 p.m. Uh, before they changed the weight, so it was 0.1% chance, and I got 11 drops. I've done the weight, I did it like 5 times yesterday, so it was a 1.1% chance out of all my drops. Like, I would get it, because of all the drops I got. So, uh, because of that, now it's 0.05, and today at like... 7 or 8, I got, uh, the Tygo accessory. And sometime yesterday, I don't remember exactly what time, but I got the code. And I'm farming the levels on it, but I want to get this done quickly, uh, this segment. And then I'll do a jump cut to the lead. I'll show you the, uh, screenshots of the drop, just so you have my word. I didn't spend money on this. And then, yeah. Let's do Rising Sun, Flying Tygo. I'm gonna do a holder level in a bit, I'll put it on like my hero easy or medium for all I know. I'm just quickly doing this just because it takes like two minutes for me to complete. And bam. When Goku's pretty solid, I don't know if it's Ryuka better or not, but solid character. So I'll see you guys. Hey, I got another train. I just got that yesterday after foaming like hours, but I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, while we're here before, we got 8 more minutes until raid starts, I decided I'll quickly show off, uh, what's the character, uh, All Might, or Tall Might as he's named, this is him, uh, first of all he has Carolina Smash, it's like the basic dash attack, something like this attack, it's just the basic dash, many characters have it. Uh, Carolina Smash looks almost the exact same, I don't really care enough though, Detroit Smash, it, like, has a little wind-up and then does a smash. That's a nice animation. Oklahoma Smash does a tornado, and you can move around. I don't think it eye flames. Then United States Smash, and it's kind of like... Both of these characters, him and one Goku, have pretty similar moves. That's all I can say. Like, look at United States of Smash, and then look at the explosion from this. Like, they still look cool, so I don't care enough. But, yeah. So, I'm gonna quickly exit this, and while I wait for the thing, I'll explain all the buffs on these, and then I'll do a jump cut to it. I think I'm only gonna show one raid in this video, because they're 10 minutes long, and I don't feel like waiting an hour. But, okay, so first of all, we'll go through the code so far. I have mine at level 6, so I get 322 attack, 1287 HP, the sub- for the first sub for getting level 5's uh, attack plus 5.4% and I don't know the 10, 15, or 20. Oh, let me sell this while I'm here. Uh, I'm trying to get that up. If I can get it up enough, I might eventually in the comment section say. Uh, 10 Goku, 1 Goku has Unknowing Fire, Rising Sun, Flame Tiger, Form 1 Goku. I mean 10 Goku and then Assist, Form 10 Goku. 
And then the accessory. I'm still annoyed about this other stuff. Oh, wait, they have different stuff on it. Oh, so maybe I'll get, try getting different. Okay, that's actually interesting. I didn't know that. I thought all accessories had the same exact stats. Because this one now has XP instead of crit damage. So it seems like this main's always going to be the same, but the subs are different. So the only thing that's going to always be the same. Do all colors have the same subs then? I'm sorry, I'm just like completely shocked. <laughs> I didn't know that. But what's it called? Back to the accessory though. Uh, mine has the main's boss damage plus 10%, which is going to help out with Tengoku Raid. HP regen plus 25.8, critical damage plus 11.6, XP plus 4.3, gold plus 6.2. Uh, I think all the subs are random then, but I'm not 100% sure, but I really like the stuff on this. So, and then, uh, let me quickly explain the raid, because I haven't explained it at all. It opens, so you can do the raid the full 10 minutes of any hour, it lasts 10 minutes, so you can only do it once. And yeah, also there's this, there's the flame tiger, uh, I haven't done it 13 times, there was a glitch I, sometime yesterday night, well, it kept starting, one a minute didn't give a reward, so I joined it a couple of times in and out, so I got stuff, but here's Raid Guy, Raid opens for the first 10 minutes of every hour, deal as much damage as you can to the Raid boss, the more damage you do, the more rewards you get, get a bonus damage for having more players in your team, so the rewards are Goku. Uh, flame Tiger Accessory, One Goku Code, Gems, and Raid Points. There's the Raid Shop, so it's 20 for 50,000 gold, 250 for the One Goku Code, 500 for the One Goku Costume, which, and then, uh, 1,700 for Flame Tiger Cub Accessory, 2,400 for the main, uh, deal, One Goku. So, let me explain the order I would go. If you were just a player following this, and to be honest, you'll probably have better chances at getting, uh, these. So, oh, they changed the chance again, I think. Because when I woke up, that was 0 0.05. So I think they changed the chance again. I'm not sure, though. But yesterday, these were both 0 0.1. That's still 0 0.7. And then, yeah. But, yeah, they, this morning, oh, when I woke up, it was... I saw it was changed to 0 0.05, and this is was 0 0.05 when I woke up, so that's 0 0.08 now. But my guide would either be, it depends on what you want. If you do not care about when Goku at all, like not at all, and you know you're not going to like get lucky with the raid, just get three when Goku codes. Or if you have the Robux, buy just when Goku codes. But if you want when Goku, Follow up one Goku, I would not recommend spending Robux for it. You could buy a whole game for $20 and enjoy that, but if you're gonna spend $20, get one Goku. The Cub accessory, I haven't seen the All Might toy uh, accessory that just came out, but this is probably the best accessory in the game right now. And I'm pretty sure this is the best card in the game, but I haven't seen All for One's card. I'm saving up for the costume right now, just because you that's the only thing in there you can't get from the raid. And the costume would give me, where is it? It will give me 500 points. Which, if you ask me, I think it should give the same amount as the Robux costumes. Because, like, you're wasting 500 raid points for it. I just want it because, one, it's collection. Because I don't know where the raid go away and how long it will be gone. Uh, I don't see one Goku anywhere in here, which they need to put in here. Because I want points from them. But, yeah. I do a jump cut to two minutes and see you guys then. Okay, now, uh, so each player you get that's not yourself, you get a plus 10% team damage bonus. So, uh, you'll have 70% if you have 80 players in it. I mean, not 80 players, 8 players counting yourself. So let's quickly get some people up. See, it's going up 20%. Well, back to 10. 20. People are impatient. 30. Like, people are really impatient and will spam, like, I bet somebody's spamming stuff. No, they're not. There's just some guy <laughs> with an name uh okay one more one more one more one more okay still but yeah uh the raid's 10 minutes and i'm not gonna jump cut it just so you guys know what you want to do so you want your main damage dealers as your whole team uh and say like 
the full I got when Goku I had Sukuna and Zenitsu and Sabo as my main. So what I did was whenever I got something I didn't want, I just like would it fight, but Pulpus like tr standing in the lines that killed me on Pulpus so I would get back to Sabo. You use whoever your main damage dealer is and then you just go crazy with that. Like, or if you have multiple slots, like if I'm using one Goku and die and go to Sabo, I don't mind that that much. I don't want to stay as Sabo as much as one Goku, but I don't mind it as much. Because it's not, like, it's not as, it's not a bad character at all. Zenitsu, I'll purposely die while fighting with to swap out just because, uh, he's not the best for this boss. Like, I'm, it's only been a minute, and almost two now, and I'm already at six. Like, I can easily get to eight, and then, like, it starts to slow down when I'm farming for ten. I usually get up to eleven, depending on, like, what I'm doing. But you gotta remember, I have one Goku right now, and then I'm using, I got the boss damage buff, but I think other things give boss damage buffs, like, uh, from a set, having collection points, I think some other accessories might, I don't know much about the other ones. And, and there, I'm I think so. And the, the light, like, the light, of course, is the basic attacks, and then the purple line will pop up. As you can see in the Flame Tiger will one by pretty much. I don't know why they changed it to Bubble, I guess, so you know, hey, that's a Flame Tiger, but it doesn't really matter because you know, hey, if I get hit, I take damage, so, yeah. Flame Tiger. I really like Ren Goku. I don't know, is he better than Ryuka? Uh, the $20 character, I have no clue. He might, he might not, because I know Ryuka has that, uh, Lupia's skill where it just increases her attack range, so might be better, might not, or around the same, I'm not sure. But this character you can get free to play. I'm a complete 100% free to play player on this, and I have one Goku and the accessory and one code. I'm farming for two more, that's why I've been doing raids, and I'm farming for the costume for the collection bonus. So, I see people in public servers, like, whining, like, I'm never gonna get it, and to be honest, me and Scoop were sitting there whining to each other, like, how are we ever gonna get one Goku? And that's before the chances were even changed. But, I don't know, I just have stupid luck sometimes. Like, sometimes my luck hates me, and then out of nowhere, it just does something stupid. But yeah, I got this, so that's all nice. Oh, come on, dog. Because, like I said, it starts to slow down around the time I'm trying to get to, uh, the 10. Because I start having to need, like, 100,000. I might be able to get 12 for all I know, because if I can get 10 quickly, I might be able to go up to 11. I mean, to yeah, if I can get 10 quickly, I might be able to go to 11 and 12. Okay, I just want to, like, do damage, but also die with this character now. Bam, bam. It's annoying though, I'm in public servers a lot, and then people will sit there and be like, bro, you really pay to win. You're like, y you must spend a ton of money on this game. I'm like, I'm like, well, with the chances that were out yesterday, point one is not that bad. Like, it's horrible. The chance on that's horrible. But if you can get multiple rewards, like, if I get nine rewards, it's a 0.9% chance after I get everything that I'll get when Goku. Or if I get, like I did, I got 11, it was a 1.1% chance I'll get him from that one. And if you foam this, because I don't know if they're going to add more weights on top of this and keep this weight, or are they going to replace the weight eventually? Because if you don't like one Goku, you might want to save your weight points for any future weights that get added. Uh, that might be smart, but I'm not 100% sure. But so far he's really solid. I like his uh character design. They either made a nice model or they did a f nice flea model, and then his sword uh looks really nice. And then I really like the face on it too. It looks like really close to that. It looks really nice. So let's do that. Like if you ask me. Some people will say he's not worth it, but, like, I think he's worth it. <laughs> I would say him and probably, like, Ryuko, best character in the game. 
Like, I hear people say that it's not worth it, but half the people that say it's not worth it don't think they're going to get it. You just got to go in here every hour. Because what I've been doing is it's not bad, in my opinion. A lot of people hate the way, but I like it. So, not because it's favorable towards me, but I just wait every hour. I go do it, and then I go play something else. I might be playing Omega Tower Defense, which I got to record tomorrow if I can. Or I might go play a different game, like... Oh, I've been recent, just started playing Split Gate, and that game's really fun. Like, just find a game you like on Roblox or on anything and just go play it while you wait that hour. Or, what I was doing with Scoops, and Scoops not as good at this game, he's getting closer to my level. What I did was, I just helped him farm, I farmed for the Demon Slayer Mugen Train accessory because I didn't have it yet, and I was like, okay, that would make me stronger against this. So I got that, uh... Well, later I got this accessory, but then I found Scoob all the way to Cause Dimension. I was like, well, the more we levels you are, the farther we get you, the easier it's going to be for you to get more points. Yeah, I'm going to get 11. I don't know about 12. Uh, dodge. Flying Tiger. But you just got to keep doing it, because I don't know how long this is here, but if they expect you to do this 100 times for the nickname, like the title, it's probably going to be here for over a week, maybe two weeks is my best guess. Because next update's probably going to be a uh, new story map, because my hero just got nightmare mode. So new map, probably, and then, like, two characters. Maybe three at the best. And then the update after that might be just, hey, new difficulty, new character. Or it might be, hey, we're uh, doing new map. Wait, I don't know. But this update's good. I said in my last video that I got, like, really mad about last update, because... All they've been doing is adding, hey, new uh, difficulty, new area, repeat, every now and then a cool character, and that's it. But now, I said they need to add a new game mode, and yeah, they did. A lot of people said that, so it's not like I was just like, whoa, I new game mode. But a lot of people said that they uh, did what everybody wanted. Well, most people wanted, because I like this idea. It's like in Annie Blocks, they had the Kirito raid that was really fun to farm. Like, it was hard at first. But once you got, like, deal and crap, you can easily do that. In this one, like, I find some funny stuff, though. Like, I hear people complaining, like, bro, how are we supposed to beat this? You're not, like, don't come into this thinking you're gonna kill when Goku. Even if you come in solo, he still has hundreds of millions of HP. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, so, I feel like if I farm enough, because this is probably the best I've done against him, because I usually get 11 every now and then, and that's like when it's the last like 20 seconds, so I'm doing pretty well. I don't think I'm gonna get 12, but hopefully since I'm recording, the game decides to give me a, a code. I can't get another one, Goku, since I have him, and I don't really need another accessory, because I have mine, and it has really good uh, subs on it. Or if they just gave me a ton of points, I'd be fine with that, because I need points for the costume. I'm gonna wear when Goku costume with. I'm gonna wear B when Goku with the when Goku costume on. That's gonna be so cool. And damn, cause I have like a hundred something points. I forgot the exact amount. Damn. But like I said, when Goku's solid, you want to get him. If you enjoy playing this game, I'd grind for him. Like, if you enjoy this, like I just said grind for it. It's gonna benefit you. Like, eventually, yeah, they're gonna make characters that are stronger. I know that for a fact, but right now, this is him and Ryuko Meta, and if you don't have $20, you just wanna be, like, spend on anime blocky Roblox <laughs> waifu, then I would go get this guy. Like, yeah, some people will aren't patient. You gotta be patient with it. That's just the trick, I guess. You just gotta be like, okay, I might or might not get it this time, and then just wait. Because like I said, it's just every hour you play for the first 10 minutes, you go do it and repeat. Actually, I might be able to get 12 if I go crazy. <laughs> I might be able to. I gotta get this special, but I don't know will that do enough damage. Because I know it's not going to do 70,000, but it might get me close. Come on, give me 12. Come on. I'm hoping I can get 12 actually now. And then I'll be able to use my assist special or the first bit of it should hit. I might be able to get 12, actually. If I get 12, that's my new record, which is really nice. It can't die with Rengoku, because then I might not. Okay. Flying Kaiser. 
I need to hit both these assists right away. Come on, do enough, do enough. Let's go, I got 12. I didn't get anything but points, but like, don't expect much. Like, you're never gonna get like, every now and then you just have that random stroke of luck that blesses you and you'll get something. Like, I got three strokes of luck, I guess, so I can't really speak, but... Uh, yeah, you just get random tricks of luck that lets you and you'll get something you want. So that's just what I would do. Just wait, you'll get something eventually. So let's quickly show off how much points I have now and then that's the video because I don't have Villain Dimension Nightmare. I need four more levels and me doing, I've already done my hero in a video and there's no point in me being like, Hey guys, I'm doing my hero again because I didn't do it last time I recorded this game. Because they have torn my toy and just that. Tall might, which are the only new things. So now I have 185 points. So I feel like today or tomorrow I should be able to get the costume. Then I'm probably, if I don't get more cards, I'll get that. But yeah, that's the video. See you guys next time. And yeah, Pigment out. Bye.